I wonder how many of you know that the first International Women's Day was actually celebrated in 1909 in New York where there was a strike of working women. These were women who worked for the ladies garments and this was a union and the strike is when we mark Women's Day. It is not easy to settle down in an all men beat like law is primarily a beat which has been dominated by men around you. Now I remember the Ram Rahim protest that took place in Panchkula. I was the only woman reporter, at least the only woman television reporter who was there because there's always a sense of fear attached when it comes to these sensitive uh, you know, and conflict zones to send women reporters. I think that is one obstacle that female reporters have to, have to face. I was in the Supreme Court, uh, I was standing right outside the Chief justice court and out of nowhere I just feel a hand brushing past my back times I remember an incident in Jammu where we stopped uh, at a at a restroom at a petrol pump and he opened it for me and instead of using it I threw up because it was so dirty being a working woman means that there's a glass ceiling that you're always aware of so whatever advantages come with being a woman reporter are absolutely washed away uh, when you come into the newsroom because uh, I feel there are barriers that you need to break there and it's tougher for a woman than it is for a man. There are actually two, two kinds of people, um, one who are normal and the others who are sexist and you just need to tell them uh, to not do that. You get that kind of reaction from the people on the ground as well. They connect to you better, they, they speak, to you, speak to you more openly and that certainly is one of the perks of being a woman and being a woman reporter. It also made all of us, friends and colleagues, realize that there was a sexist undercurrent in our jokes, in the way we talked about women, their, uh, the colleagues, the way we were speaking, the way we were looking at their clothes, scrutinizing their behavior. People are a little more cautious, especially your male colleagues and uh, those who you work with on the field as well. I think there is a certain amount of awareness now and an acceptance when somebody is cracking a sexist joke. They are a little cautious. How long it will last, I can't say, but at least now there is a sense that you just can't speak whatever you want to or make sexist remarks and get away with it. I think that's a very positive change of the Me Too movement. I have uh, spoken to men who didn't really understand why uh, this is happening but of course it was a very uh, necessary moment but it's only um, you know helped women um, have a, not an upper hand but just to have an equal hand in the workspaces. You know I remember in the immediate aftermath you'd, I'd go to the ministry and I was told give her a chair please don't sit with us it doesn't happen so if you need to make your workspace better and, and and the workspace that I want my daughter to you know enroll into many many years later is a workspace that is not just safe but a workspace that is fair as well.